Hey guys, I am bringing back Hey Monday. Now, most of you are probably like, what is that rainbow? I'll tell you. Now, Hey Monday is something I did way back when when I was actually blogging, like typing on the computer. Um, I did a video a week on Mondays and I just called it Hey Monday where I just kind of chatted about what was happening in our life. And now, I figure that would be kind of fun to do with our channel, you see, you guys see the daily vlogs, and um, now and again we do a coding and rainbow talk, but I figure Hey Monday is kind of for me to just talk about what's going on in our lives, that you things you might not see in the vlogs or we might not talk about, and sorry that was a pillow, um, and just things like that, so I'm just going to get started. Uh, welcome to, let's just call this the first official Hey Monday. So, hey, it's Monday, and actually it's Sunday night for me. We've put our Christmas tree up. <laughs> We're crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I really, I love Christmas. I love the whole season. For me, it's like, starts in November and it's just, because it's not about shopping and presents and baking and doing all this crazy stuff. It's just the warm, fuzzy feeling you get. And I mean, I don't think there's ever such a thing as like too early for Christmas. Well. I mean, within reason, I guess. Starting in January would be a bit much. But, um, I, d I don't know. I just really like the season, and it makes me feel good, and it makes the kids feel good, and it makes Cody feel good. And so, that is, uh, so we put the tree up, because it's fun. Now, in other news in our life, um, I'm having a very sentimental month so far, I guess, because, sorry, I was just looking at Cody. Um, if... You guys don't know, we mentioned throughout our pregnancy and stuff with Grayson that he is our last baby. And um, Cody and I have been thinking about this for a very long time and we made the decision that um, we are done it too. And some people, I mean, there's a lot of things you have to go through before you decide, like, I am done having kids. But um, this is something that wasn't just decided when Grayson was born or anything, we we thought Kenzie was going to be our only child. Um, I thought I was going to have like four or five kids and then we had Mackenzie and we felt really, really happy and really complete and really content. And then when she was about two years old, I started to toy with the idea of, or just think about what it would be like to have um, two kids. And it took Cody and I probably about eight months of heavy discussion and talking and just stretching ourselves thin with like everything, every possibility, all the pros, all the cons, where our hearts were worth it, what we wanted for our family and our future, and what we wanted for Mackenzie, and um, we made the decision last spring to have one more baby. And we did, and we got very, very lucky. We got pregnant right away, and we had this beautiful little baby boy who is now eight months old. That is crazy. It's going by so quick, but I'm trying to hang on to every last drop. And I think because we felt that, we felt almost complete before, and so this has kind of been a decision that's been happening for about four years now, I guess. And, um, we did a lot more talking in the eight months since Grayson has been born, and we exhausted every, I guess, area that you could think of about um, when what it means to, to be done having kids. And we feel really, really happy with it, and we feel really content. And so on Friday, on Halloween, ironically, um, Cody went in, and he got his vasectomy done. And so now we're done. We're we have two beautiful, and you know, I don't really like saying we're done because we're not done having kids. We have two kids and they're awesome and amazing and I'm so, so blessed to have them. And I feel really, really good about this decision. This is not something we would have decided if either of us were even 99% sure we were done. We both had to be 100% sure and we both had to really challenge ourselves and our thinking to make sure this was the decision that was right for our family. And it is. And um, yeah, we're just really happy. And and so I just wanted to kind of like, I guess, tell you guys, because some people are like, because we've said that Grayson's our last, and then we get sometimes people saying like, oh, but you know, you might get pregnant. Well, 
Nope. <laughs> nope. Unless something, uh, unless Cody's body really decides to reject it all for some reason and, um, I don't know, the universe just has a plan for us that some miraculous sperm will make it through, then everything happens for a reason. But as far as plans go, uh, we're done having kids. And so he got that done on Friday, which I thought was kind of funny because he had a vasectomy on Halloween, which is just kind of funny. <laughs> But yeah, we, I just feel really, really good about the decision, the, the decision, and I mean, I guess I'll kind of like say a little bit about why we decided, just for us two is like a really good number because there are two of us to handle it, and uh, Cody is the breadwinner of our family, he's working like 40, sometimes a little bit more, but not usually like 40 hours a week, so I'm the one home with the kids. Um, we're also gentle parents, and that is a lot of work. It's really hard to be a really conscious gentle parent, and it takes a lot of energy. And I feel that my limit is um, two kids. I feel like any more would be stretching myself too thin, and that wouldn't be fair to Grayson and Mackenzie. Um, because I feel like I've brought, we've brought them into this world. I want to give them, I want them to have the best of me that I can give them. And it's a constant work every day to try and give the best I can. And it's a constant improvement every day. Um, I just, you know, do better tomorrow and do better tomorrow. Uh, so I just feel like I don't, I can't do that with any more kids. I feel like this is a comfortable amount for me to make sure that they get exactly what they need from both of us. And then also, I don't want anything to happen to our marriage in the sense where um, Cody and I have a really good amount of time together right now. We have a really healthy relationship, we have a great sex life, and quite frankly, I don't want that to change, and neither does he. And um, we all know that with each kid, that gets uh, time gets less and less, and I mean, every family is different, this is just work, what works for us. I mean, some people do great with six kids and they can balance it all and it works great for them but this is just for us and um, also just the things we want to do with them and homeschooling is hard and if I like when we're homeschooling two kids that's gonna be keeping me very very busy um, and again it's just the attention and the devotion I can provide it's just I can't split myself up because we also have two dogs and that's important for us is like we decided to adopt these little furry creatures into our life and it's important that we take care of them and give them a good life because we are completely responsible for their tiny dog life. And also we just want to like take the kids out and go experience life and do, I don't know, activities, go on vacations, like make sure that like we like taking them to places like the zoo all the time and I just like financially it gets tighter and tighter with each kid and we just won't be able to do that which it's not necessarily the end of the world if you can't, um, or any, by any means, but that's just something that we would like to have build our kids' memories and our memories together. And um, also, the last kind of thing, this is really summed up, but it's really important that um, I have time for myself and Cody has time for himself, his self, just to be our own people and our own person and to make sure that we are not lost in the duties of mother and fatherhood and work and schooling and all this kind of stuff. We need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves and we're um, staying passionate and diving into our own hobbies and making sure that we are living a good life for ourselves as well. So this is kind of just what I wanted to chat about this week. Um, I don't know, I haven't really talked about the fact that we were, that we made this decision, so it kind of feels good to get that out and just answer any questions or any assumptions anybody may have and just, um, I feel like it would be weird if I was always, like, replying to comments and saying things like, oh, you know, like, no, we're pretty done when people don't know that, you know, like, we're done, we've had a vasectomy, so, um, yeah, and... So this month, anyway, that Christmas tree just reminded me, Kenzie and I are going to be, like, doing crafts and stuff to decorate the Christmas tree with, which I'm excited. Sorry, I just jumped topics here, but, um, I'm really excited to just, like, 
make sentimental ornaments and stuff with her to decorate. It's always fun. And we do a Polar Express party every year, which I'm excited for. But anyway, okay, you guys. I will talk your ear off next week. So this is the first official Hey Monday again. It's just like kind of like life updates that you may not otherwise hear. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And... I don't know. It's just it's just me. So, <laughs> okay. We will see you guys next week. I hope you have a fantastic week and I hope you have are having or have had a beautiful Monday and we'll see you later. Bye. Do these things. <laughs>